What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, playing a little bit of Smash Brothers with my son. This is uh, <laughs> me playing against Brandon. Brandon's my 11 year old. He'll be 12 in, on the 14th of May, so he's got about six days until his birthday. And uh, we every now and then we get together and play Smash Brothers. He's pretty good at Smash. You probably can't tell by the gameplay because I beat up on him a little bit, but I uh, used to play this competitively, so my skill <laughs> level is a little bit higher than his. Uh, I actually played against my, my oldest son, and my oldest did a little bit better. So if you guys are interested in seeing more Smash Brothers footage of me and the family, let me know. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what makes this game so great to me. Uh, when Smash Brothers first came out for Nintendo 64, I wasn't a fan. I didn't know anything about it. What I did here, I heard a lot of people did enjoy it. A good buddy of mine, Donnell, played it a lot. And uh, I was knee-deep in PlayStation land. I was playing games like Metal Gear Solid and Mortal Kombat 3 on PlayStation. And I wasn't really interested anymore in the Nintendo 64's dated graphics, uh, the 64-bit you know, operating system. Even though the 64 was supposedly a very powerful system, I just didn't like the way the, the games turned out, the way they looked, how grainy it was and blocky. And so I felt like I would be taking a step back uh, playing the Nintendo 64 version of Smash Brothers. Then, of course, we hear about the uh, the GameCube coming, and uh, that's Nintendo's new system, and all my buddies talked about was Smash Brothers, and I had never played Smash Brothers before in my life, and I was like, well, you know, I, it's Mario as a fighting game, it, it's probably bullshit, I don't want to even fucking play it, but um, Donnell, <laughs> he was still one of my best friends, he bought it on GameCube, and he owned the game, he owned everyone who played. And I bought it just to buy it because even back then I wanted to be a collector of game consoles. And so I bought it and I bought Smash Brothers and I didn't play Smash. I think I was playing Resident Evil uh, the remake. And uh, I just wasn't interested in this game because at the time I was living together with my ex-wife. And yeah, I do screw up here. I don't mean to jump into my own. <laughs> I don't mean to jump into my own proximity mind. So just <laughs> that was an accident. But um I was living with my ex-wife who she wasn't into games at all and she was one of those type of women who just you know had a problem if you played and so the only time I really got to play this game is when I had you know company and being, being that I never really played it before I didn't want to learn to play with company and uh, my buddy Lewis Lyles the guy who did the very first episode of BC Thoughts with me he uh, wanted to come over and borrow it so I let him borrow it and then he just kept telling me how awesome the game was and how excited he was and how much fun he was having and all these new characters he was unlocking and all this shit and I was like well if it's that fun I'll give it a shot and so I started getting into the game and over the course of a few weeks I started to destroy everyone I played I started to play and Mario was my favorite character it's me the, the black Mario that just grew up uh, and I destroyed everybody. Donnell, who, who was the man in this game, got completely dominated by me. And he basically quit playing. And everybody else, it was a group of about five close-knit friends. And uh, we got together constantly and played this. And I even got some of them to switch their main character, like my older brother, from Link to Mario. Because I dominated everybody so badly in the game. But I'm really excited, guys, about this new Smash Brothers for the Wii U, honestly. Um... The Wii U itself doesn't really excite me. Look at this combo, guys. Watch this. I, I just dominate, but and I dominate uh, an adult player the same way. I promise you. But um, this new Smash Brothers that's coming out for the the Wii U um, has really got me hyped. Of course, I gotta stick with Mario, no matter what. Uh, any game Mario's in, he's always the most well-rounded character. Be it Mario Kart, Mario Golf, whatever, he's always like centered perfectly. You might have other characters that have more strength, more jumping ability, more this, more that, more speed, but Mario's always been the one who's perfectly centered, and so that's why going into Smash Brothers, I picked him as my main character. And so I'm going to do the same thing in this new Smash. One thing I didn't like about the old, the Smash that came out Brawl for the for the uh, game for the Wii, is that it has super moves. To me, that takes away the the experience of what Smash was initially about, and I didn't like it as much, honestly. I don't like Brawl as much as I do this one. This is my favorite Smash Brother experience, and it's one I'll probably enjoy for the rest of my life. I just love this game. It's it's beast mode, and uh, 
I love destroying people in it. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm not I'm not the worst player in Smash Brothers. I love playing this game. But on to other things, guys. This video is probably going to be titled something like this. Uh, my thank you video to all you guys. Um, <clears throat> I don't get mushy too much, um, but I do want to show a lot of appreciation to my subscribers. Uh, it's been it's been a, a hell of a, a roll so far. I've gotten 250 subscribers, and and I just wanted to let you guys know how appreciative I am of every single one of you guys. I know we don't talk as much as we probably should, but you all mean in your own way a great deal to me. Uh, when I get you know uh, comments in the comment section, when I get requests, when I you know when you guys are there and we we sit and actually have conversation, it means the world to me. This is something I've always dreamt of doing, being on YouTube, playing video games, talking about things that I love, uh, sharing news with you guys, and just being a, a being an anomaly. I think of myself as an anomaly. I'm, you know, if you look at me, I, I'm, I'm a completely different person than you'd expect. I'm not a stereotype, and I'm a nerd. I love gaming. I love you know anime. I love things that nerds love, and um, you guys love it too and I found my own clique of people to be around and share the things I love with and being on YouTube you have to be goal oriented now you know starting off doing this it's more for for fun okay and it's more for me just being myself and, and talking and you know sharing my thoughts and, and putting up videos and getting better equipment but as time progresses you have to be goal oriented and I am and uh, I do have some goals in my mind as far as what I want this channel to, to be and what I think it's capable of. And so my first goal is going to be 1,000 subscribers. Um, I, I plan to reach 1,000 hopefully within my first year. I'm right now at about six months. Now I don't know if 250 subs is good for six months or bad. I don't care. I'm not gauging myself on anyone else's success. But if if I can pump this out if I can continue to be consistent and and you know release good quality content uh, I I plan and I hope to be close to a thousand now this plan will work better and more efficiently if I have my subscribers there as support to spread the word to do everything you guys can to let people know about the channel uh, I honestly really would appreciate any help that I can get from any of you guys if you guys got ideas on how I can promote my channel things that I can do to be more appealing, things that you guys would like to see more on the channel, things you'd like to see less on the channel. I don't care what it is, but you guys are the reason I'm here. If I didn't have a fan base or a group of friends to even share this with, it wouldn't matter at all. So you guys leave your, your comments down below and let me know what you think I need to do or what can be done to make this channel a big success. Thank you guys all for watching and sharing and being here with me through this amazing time of my life. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and let's get to a thousand. I'll see you guys next time.